Mm -hmm. Ah, hey, bro, welcome back to Akamea Vampire. Last time. Oof. This happens. I, um, Gillis died and started raining. And I finished, um, giving, um, both the, um, like, um, the, uh, both the movie and the, the anime thing. Ah, here's. I recommend, um, anyone to watch Given. In my opinion, it's actually quite, uh, quite, uh, quite dramatic between, um, between, um, basically love and the band itself. Quite dramatic. Oof. If you anyone want to, um, want to spill all the tea, um, Given is, oof, is quite good. And it's quite cute. God, man. Quite, quite cute. Okay. Jean didn't look up, it didn't seem to even notice the ring as he stumbled towards his saw discard on the ground. He picked it up and quietly wiped the blood, mud, and rain from his blade each moment carefully and practiced. Um, at last, he bowed his head over the blade as if saying a silent prayer and then slid it into the shell that it hit. A hip. Um, I can't believe it's raining again in a in time like this. The rain was... Um, Restless, uh, drenching us to the skin and plastering our um, hair and clothes to our bodies. Uh, Jean stood in the midst of it. A uh, midst of it, not crying, but not simply staring at the ground. And from uh, uh, from from uh, as he uh, as the blood slowly washed away. I bet it's ringing so hard if um, in your heart right now that you barely noticed the ring on your skin. Uh, I doubt that there first is a um, uh, rainstorm in the um, will come uh, match up to the rain that fell in Jean's heart. I knew I couldn't stop the rain, not the rain th um, that fell from the sky, nor the, um, the rain that fell in his heart. So instead, I moved to stand in his side and took his hand in mine, just wanting to remind him that he was still alive. He stared at my touch. Something flickered across um, his um, flag expression at last, and I smiled up at him as um, best I could. Stay with me. Let me uh, let do this at least. Uh, you're still you're still here. Yeah, you're still here, and I'm here with you, and I won't ever leave you. So please don't go and don't follow him. Uh, Jean's hand trembled in mine, cold and blood stained, and then he shifted, uh, um, and cold and blood stained, and then he shifted his grip, his fingers, um, twinging hastily with mine. He, uh, he squeezed my hand suddenly, his grip almost painfully tight, and I squeezed back. Oh, purple, Jean! Uh, uh Napoleon, come dear. I turned quickly to see the two men hurrying towards us on. Horseback, their expressions turned grim as they got closer. Let's get you two back to the mansion. We can talk later. We return. Oh, this is Leo! Hey! We returned to the mansion through heavy rain that um, showed no sign of stopping. We were safely back, um, but it was clear Jean's mind was still somewhere else and I refused to let go of his hand. Napoleon studied um, us for a long moment and then quietly. Just a place we could go to be alone. Have we been this place? Is this the at the? Ah, oh, the moon looks cool. Ah, oh, the moon looks cool there. Um, I I let you up the um the dark wooden stairs. Napoleon um um pointed to me towards, and soon we um found ourselves in a small loft. I have no idea this place even exists, but it's much better than Jesus called uh cell like room right now. Jesus! You kinda of commented his room like that. Jean and I sat side by side, still holding hands, and I waited simply um uh, simply giving him my warmth and sharing the space with him. Um we um we gazed out of the window at the darkness and the ring until at last Jean's quiet uh horizon voice um broke the stillness. I killed my friend, yet I'm still alive. Gillis claimed he was the monster, but I'm the monster. No, you're not. You're not a monster, Jean. Are we going to say he's not, like, Gillis not a monster? <laughs> I pay my rent month, I own that. <laughs> okay, 
Jean Gase moved towards me. At once I was caught and held by the empty and like sky and uh, darkness within. We lived in such different times and we um, experienced such different things and I let that and you know um, away at me. Until I doubted everything. Myself, my words, my right um my right to stand at your side. I let it overwhelm me until I want to run away from everything that mattered to me. But I knew um, you know, that our differences meant um, there was uh, so many things I could tell um, him, so many things we could, touch, um, could teach each other. And this time, I'll find the right words. This time, I'm going to I found you in the darkness and let you out into the light. You called yourself a monster because you didn't feel fear when you were on the battlefield, right? But I don't believe for even a, a second that you... Um, Will do yourself for nothing uh, but pleasure. And Gillis was right. A true monster will pay for the souls of the people who died at their hands. A true monster will let people skip to that he could um, avoid um, killing them. Um, Jean, listen to me. I think uh, the truth is you were scared to fight him. Scared? We? Oui. So, yeah, so many, um, so many times I've ever heard you say, if you don't get strong, you won't survive. You say it to me the very first night we met. I still remember the sorrow I heard in your voice. Um, and this is nothing compared to what a vampire could do if they generally craved your blood. If you want to return safely to where you come um, came from, you need to understand the danger you're in. You need to think about how um how uh, how best to act um protect yourself because if you don't get strong, you won't survive. And Michael Jackson be like. <laughs> and you said um, it to Sar um, after both his parents died and left him all alone. Oh yeah, but your parents clearly loved you, and I don't think they would give you their name for no reason. Even if the midst of a downpour, and stay strong and live strong, no matter how heavy you are, um, or how long the downpour, the rain will always end. So keep your chin up and keep on living. That's why I feel your name means. Eh? Sar. If you don't get strong, you won't survive. To be, um, so be strong and wait for the ring to end. And I think I understand now. You said those words to yourself, um, to, um, to, didn't you? Over and over, year after year. Yeah? You had to be strong to survive. The, the clarity of warmth. So you buried your own heart, didn't you? You buried all your emotions. And uh, Jean said that, uh, um, that me though, uh, those lost emotions, um, emotions are now spoiling in his case, confusion that one other I couldn't quite read. I met his case steadily, and at last he spoke again, his voice trembling. If that really, really is true, it's okay for me to um go on living. Will I, will I be forgiven for living? <sighs> Oh, Sebastian, give me the normal story, please. <laughs> because I'm I'm out of diamonds, so I got 100, but I'm using that to get a ticket. I heard Jean say the name, um, say, um, say thing, um, oh, sorry. I heard Jean, um, Jean say the same thing over and over, um, since the first time we met. If you, won't, um, don't get strong, you won't survive. But it was only now, after all that had happened, that I finally realized that. Those words were really meant to um I didn't sound how Jean uh now Jean. You said those your um words to yourself too, didn't you? Over and over year after year. <laughs> True. <laughs> you had to be strong to survive the clarity of war. So you buried your own heart, didn't you? You buried all your emotions. He stared at me those lost emotions, now swirling in its gaze, confusion down in others. I couldn't quite read. I met his gaze steadily, and at last he spoke again, his voice trembling. Um, if that really is true, is it okay for me to go on living? Will I be forgiven for living? He was, um, he was so close, I couldn't feel his breath on my cheek, and it, the intensity of his gaze um, seemed to burn through me. Something glimmered in that violet, night sky, uh, something hot and real, and the chill of and death that had the cloaked him um, become to fade. I knew that the, there was no justification that could ever excuse the fact that he'd taken the lives of others. Oh no, oh heavens, 
Oh heavens, pray for his soul. But also, uh, oh, but I also know that you, I know, capital and all caps, um, know that better than anyone. You have spent your whole life carrying the weight of those sins, and I wanted to die to atone for them. I don't know how an, um, anyone else might um, answer his question, but for me, there was only one answer. Even if God and all his angels in heaven uh, thought we were fools, my love for Jean would never wave. My love for him was too strong to, um, to ever give up. I give up on never gonna give you up, never gonna let you do. Do you want to love Jean? Jean's gaze is trampled with uncertainty and then they lift their hour. Uh, uh, Aline hangs, uh, pressing them gently against his chest. I could feel the pounding of his heart, sure and strong, until, um, until my hand it gave me a sense of hope. You're warm, you're, you're alive, and... Well, you're warm and you're still alive, but after watching, um, uh, Die Book of Lovers, um, um, not only vampires are supposed to be cold, cold because they, they're, like, dead or something. For some reason that makes me so happy, I want to cry. Even the beating of my heart was a concern, a reminder of my sins. All I wanted was to find a way um, to stop it beating, but now, yes. Can the vampire heart beat? <laughs> like, I, I remember I went to a place. I went to a place, um, a little vacation, and, um, ah, damn. Yeah, pretty sure some some people went on one of those where it's like a walk through horror thing where um, you just walk through and there'll be like actors who was just just trying to scare you and all that. I went to two. One it, it was a vampire one. Uh, no one was in costume, just the um, robots, electronics. It was pretty good. And um, the other one, which I found the other one really good. Um. It shows all the horror movie characters. Um, ah, uh, damn. Ah, uh, damn. Um, there was Nightmare on Elm Street. No, ah, uh, damn. Maybe Exorcist. Maybe. I don't quite remember um, the horror movie, but there's one guy. Uh, <laughs> um. There was a room, and the guy um, wearing a fallen costume waved, and then shut the door, and and then my dad's like, you want, you want to go through that? I was like, nah, nah, because I got it. I'm admitting this. I am a chicken. I am a chicken. He chewed on his lower left for just a moment, and then his gaze shifted, and the words uh, spelled out. Out him in a rush. I'm scared of it. Stopping. Gillis went and died like that. Just to tell me to go on living. I can't portray his f- um, final words like that. And his ghost got me again. And I read and um, blazing hot and bright within it. Like a thousand stars. impersonating br- to life all at once. Jean. The main reason I'm scared of my heart stopping is you. Purple. I cut my breath in my own heart. Um, pounding wildly. Even at, as, as if I lost myself. And the stars shining in his gaze. Every time I took um, a look at you, my heart and clamors as high as hurts. And I cherish those feelings. They're uh, precious to me. And that's uh, why even the idea of those uh, feelings fading away scares me to death. I can't stop myself from feeling fear. And I know I shouldn't want this. It's not right, but... Doubt that confusion and twisted his expression on yeah, It was clear that every part with him was screaming to live. He looked so completely lost and bewildered, and yet still, every part of him was screaming with his will to live. He was caught between the will of his sins and his um, simple and desperate desires to keep living, and I squeezed his hand tightly. I don't know if this will be enough to pull you free, but I'm going to tell you again. I'll tell you as many as it takes. I'll do anything to keep it, um, to keep that will to live burning um, bright inside you. I'm not. I'm not. Okay, I'm not ever going to let this um heart st- um stop being. Eh? 
So you're going to live. You're going to、um, go on living here with me. I refuse to let you die. And Jin's eye、uh, went wide as he stared at me, and then his expression twisted again, until at last a troubled smile appeared. You're Merlos. That's right. I am. You have no idea just how、um, awful I can be. My words caught in my throat、uh, as I bent my、uh, back, a sob, and trying, to,、uh, trying to、uh, blink back the tears ha- that、um, burned my eyes. There was no time to cry, not when there was.、Uh, So much I still can't、um, tell him, and I'm going to cost you、um, cost you nothing but trouble from now on. How so? I'm I'm going to make a mountain of macaroons, and I'm going to t-、uh, make you eat them till you're full and to bursting. And I'm going to drag you on walks when it's raining, and then I'm going to steal your umbrellas and run away. That would be troubling. Yeah, that would be annoying. <laughs> <laughs> See, and then I'm going to make you come to every single、um, good cafe in town with me and try all their desserts. And he have to pay them. Don't forget that he has to pay for them. So that'll be that'll be troublesome. <laughs> that'll be that'll、uh, that'll be annoying. <laughs> the thing smile was、um, looking the first glimmer in the darkness, and I wanted to drag him all the way into the light. So I I talked about the future, our future. Every single idea,、um, single idea I could come up with, every idea、um, I did that might make that smile brighter. And I was still talking about the re- the reach up, and suddenly gently stroking my and damp hand so- soothing it back from my face. I already know how、uh, astronomically and kind you are. There was such a tenderness in his voice and his gaze that I forgot my words, I forgot everything but the way he made my heart pound. His hands. I stood against my cheek,、uh, resting lightly here, and I reach up、uh, his knee and place an,、uh, my hand over it. Eh? What is it? I lifted my gaze just as the、uh, first、uh, rays of the morning、uh, sun peeked in through the window, giving us his face his golden glow. And no matter how dark and painful the night is,、um, is the sun will always rise. The next morning, I bring with it a brand new day. I don't know what that、um, day would bring. As we cling, um, clung to each other, our hearts beat at us one, and then we were ready to fight, uh, face it. Oh, that's cute. Oh, chapter twenty-five. No matter how um how heavy the downpour and、right, um, the rain always ends, Jean is、uh, struggling and doubting and hurting, um, uh, hurting. But at last, he turns his Nice guy gazed to me. Will you allow、um, this fool of a man to go on living here at your side? Ugh. That was an accident. I think my hand has gone like like a skin tone color. Ugh. Took me what at least ten minutes to wash、um, to wash it off. Can't explode it. Ah,、uh, June chapter twenty-five. New day dawn, and it was brighter than I ever imagined it could be. There was no trace of the rain that had、uh, beat down on us, so miraculously, and、uh, through the dark of night. What、well, it looks like is in ruins, like almost like looks. June and I got cleaned up and had our breakfast, and then we sat. Then with the comfy, as he told us why he knew, he re- he、uh, rescued us that Shakespeare had not uh, uh, not been the one who brought Gilles de Rays back to life as a vampire. He then told us that he was pretty certain he knew who the Cobra was, that it was someone he him he himself knew, but unfortunately he didn't know where they were hiding or why they done it. I was never uh then. Let anything、uh, like this happen ever again. Um, but if by some unlucky chance it does happen again, I am fully prepared to protect you all, no matter what the cost to me. The captain voice had remained remained calm as he told us the truth, but he, but the usual peaceful, friendly look in his eyes was gone. From all you've、uh, said, it's clear to me that what's going on behind the scene here is why more uncomplicated than I can imagine. And my. Pr- 
and I probably won't understand it. If you've explained it to all, not when it involves vampires who lived for centuries. But even I don't understand uh, why, uh, why it's our house. I believe you know you say it'll protect us. Fine for now, I will trust what you've said. But uh, can I ask you something? What is it, Jean? Uh, Jean let out a long uh, soft sign and I could feel him tensing next to me as if ready himself or something. I've hated you all this time because I thought you brought me back to life against my will. Lee coveting an insulin to his head slightly, his golden eyes screamed as he stared Jean across the table. But was I wrong? Was it my, me myself who stood down um, the one platform begging to be allowed to live? The silence dragged out for a short um, eternity and I held my breath but la- Leslie Cupty noted his head just once. I heard uh, Jean uh, catch his breath and I looked up to see him stare at uh, Lee Cupty, his, his expression stunned. Lee Cupty signed softly a thing from mirroring his face and then he spoke again. As the flames consumed you that day, you were screaming desperately. I heard your voice clearly. Why shall I have to die here? Uh, be um, be you God or Satan, I, I cannot anyone save me. Let me live. And and then you passed on out. When you told me that day, you said that the monster inside you are screaming those words in rage. But th- they were um, your words all along, despite that you tried to Tell yourself, uh, deep in your heart, you wanted to live. No matter how desperately you tried to stop yourself from waiting, uh, it, you still want to live. And I asked you, are you willing to be reborn even if it means becoming a vampire? And you said, yeah, and you nodded. Why? Why do you keep the trust a secret all this time? Uh, why do you keep the truth, um, the truth a secret all this time? Your expression twisted into something, burning out hot and angry in his case, as he glared at Lee Cupty. Because I don't mind if you hated me. What? I may have brought you back to life, but in all your time here, you guys were that, um, that of a dead man walking. Oh, it reminds me of a musical, a dead girl walking. No matter what happened uh, to you or what you do, um, what you did, or that never changed. The only time I ever saw any emotion in in you at all was when you directed your hatred to me. Are you saying you delicately chosen to let me hate you just for that? I I felt that being hated by you was preferable to all your emotions, being dead and gone forever. Why? Why would you go that far for me? I don't understand. Because... I'm the one who brought you back to life in this time, and because you are a very dear member of my family. Jean's expression, I uh, went wide again, and a sudden shiver ran through him as he's dead at Lee Comte. Um, the room fell silent as they gazed at each other, but it was in warm silence somehow. That's how much you love Jean, isn't it, Comte? And all the residents here, there's um, so much kindness and love in your heart. I, I'm sorry. Jean lowered his head, uh, suddenly a gesture of uh, supplication on his um, um, timely comedy's eyes, widened in shock. Jean, I don't expect forgiveness simply for apologizing, but right now I don't know what else to do ex- so, except apologize. Hmm? <clears throat> in that case, apologize to me as well. Mozart, I turned in surprise as Mozart across, them, uh, across the room until he was sent. Standing across the table from Jean, a large bandage was wrapped around his uh, hand, uh, covering completely. And I once remember how much blood there there been. Um, was that I? I'm just joking. I'm this ba- uh, and this bandage. Um, uh, was smiled faintly and then began to unwrap the bandage his hand on the whole time. When he was gone, he held up his hand to show that his. Injury was completely gone. No, even a scar remained. Oh, but how? I mean, I saw... I asked his boss to bandage it, like, just for sure. Vampires heal much faster than better than humans. Fair enough. It wasn't that deep a wound, so it healed very quickly. You have no idea how relieved I am to hear that. Your hands are so important to you, uh, for your music, and I'm revealed it wasn't inj- inj- <laughs> injured uh, permanently. 
but it doesn't change the fact um, that that your hand was uh, injured because of me, and I selfishly pushed you away. Um, was that actually? Yeah, uh, I don't need an apology from you. What? I'm the one who uh, who should be apologizing. I'm the one who should be apologizing. Most of um, that jeans is gay steadily, but his expression was tense as he twisted his finger together as he spoke. Jean, I made a point to never ask you about your past or press you to talk about it. I know you didn't want to talk about it, and I thought, no, talking about it was showing your, your kindness. But it wasn't kindness at all. It wasn't until I watched you in purple that I realized I was just running away. She was silent, but he gazed up at Amaza, but his expression seemed gently as he listened intensely. So from now on, it, if something happens, I want you to talk to me about it. I'll, uh, pers- uh, I'll pester you until you're sick of it if I have to. Besides, I'm your... What's that? I'm your... <laughs> He's like, I'm your... I'm your... Mozo looked away, his lips pressed tightly together, his cheeks faintly flushed, but then he lifted his head again. I'm your friend. There, I guess say it. Oh. <laughs> yes, you are my friend. That's right. Well, I think I should ask the boss to open a bottle of champagne. <laughs> what? Why? Champagne is perfect for a celebration, and I don't... Um, um, don't you think this deserves a celebration? Um, uh, Jean and I have uh, resolved our misunderstanding. Jean had, uh, Mozart had depended their uh, friendship. No, stop. I agree. We don't need sa- champagne for this. What are you sure? He burst out, uh, I burst out laughing and they all turned to look at me and then they were all smiling too. And I couldn't stop smiling either. So I remember, um, uh, remember Jean telling Sarah that the ring will always end. There are so many people who love, I love you, Jean, and they're all closer than you think. And I want you to go on living for a long, long time, surrounded by all this love. Because I love you, because uh, you, you're my everything, because you mean the world to me. Because I love you. I love them so much that I can I hope I want him to um, to be loved and to recognize how loved he was. I glance over at Jean still smiling and suddenly he turned his gaze on me. Uh, something glimmering uh, within. Um, is something the matter? Purple? There's, uh, um, there's, there's somewhere I need to go and I'd like to uh, come with me. Uh, soon, two of us were on a horseback heading away from the mansion. Jane took me um to the cliff over overlooking the ocean, the um place where Gillis had died. He suddenly placed a, a bouquet um bouquet of white uh, lilies on the edge of the cliff and then kneeled down bowing his head in prayer. Um I kneeled at his side, gazing at the lilies for a moment before closing my eyes. And Gil- Girls, I'll never ever forget the words he said. I promise I'll protect you for na- for you, so please rest in peace. I sent the words up t- um like a prayer hoping they were reach him. Somehow uh-huh, then then I opened my eyes again. Jean had lifted his head and then gazed quietly at the ocean that seemed stretched on forever before us. Listen, Gillis, uh, ever since I was born in this world I I've been imprisoned by death. I waited for death on that wooden platform. I say he screamed the bus um, abuse at me. I believe he was the only way I could atone. And I doubt that I believe with all my heart that there was no other atonement for the um, things I'd done. And that's why I suppress suppre- um, all my own sighs. And now suddenly at his side, staring his um, profile as I listened to his uh, soft voice. And I saw uh, something flickering in his gaze. But I'm not. But I'm told as the flames of hell consume me. I scream for something to save me and let me live. I thought it was the monster inside of me screaming in rage, but it was me. That was, and uh, that was what I truly desired. Jean's expression tightened a little, and I saw the sorrow and confusion in it. 
All this time, I wanted to live. I wanted to live so desperately. It's almost shameful. You know you didn't. Did you in your heart? You know that your death wasn't really atonement for your sins, but you couldn't see any other、um, any way to atone. It was the way things ha- that had to be、um, that made sense to you. That's why you express your desires to live. That、uh, I know. Focus on what desperate desires to die all this time, all the time. But you helped realize that, Jean. You and Purple. I caught my breath, stunned. Not only. By his words, but by the people,、um, Celestia smiled on his face. His smile was brighter than warmer, and then the sunshine was outshone only by the determination in his gaze. The sins I've committed can and never be erased, and I'm sure I'll continue to hear the voices of the dead in my dreams. But I've decided that I will accept that pain and suffering and carry it with me. I won't run away from. Um, this life, not any, not anymore. I will live on, on this world, carrying about a burden that will be my atonement. Jean drew his sword free from his shield and pointed it towards the sky. The sun glimmered off its tip. Then he stabbed it firmly into the ground in front of him, leaving it quivering as he, as stepped out over the ocean again. My friend, and my comrade in arms, I swear, um, this to you here and now. I will, uh. Bear the burden, and I will keep.、Um, and I will keep living this world. I will live and live and go on living enough for the both of us. I never heard such fierce determination in his voice, and I gasped, softly, my heart fluttering wildly. Even if God in His heavens above、uh, never gives me, or my pressure, or my presence here, I will go on living. Jingis. Uh, Jean gazed out across the ocean. His smile is、uh, is smarter than radiant, and he was more beautiful in that moment than he'd ever been. I never even realized it until now. But all this time, I've wanted to see a smile like this, like that, more than anything in the world. I've wanted to see that smile. His beautiful um overwhelmed me. Uh, his beauty overwhelmed me,、uh, leaving me breathless, and I trembled. But I never stopped、uh, gazing at、um, him, and I never stopped、uh, listening. And there's one more thing I want to swear to you, Gillis. Well, guys, this is gonna be end. I hope you enjoy it, and I'm gonna see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.